All right, guys, I finally got a hold of one of these things. This is the Scorpion Covert Entry Kit from Tag5 Industries. I want to call this the Scorpion 2 because about nine months ago, the owner of Tag5 Industries got a hold of Lockpicking Lawyer, gave him one of the pre-prototypes and asked him for some critique and what he could do to improve the kit. It took him nine months, but guys, what you're getting ready to see is everything that came out of that. Uh, it's the same nice Cordura nylon case, a lot of double stitching on this thing, very durable, uh, pretty compact. It has a nylon zipper, so it's pretty quiet to come open, but more importantly, the nylon won't corrode with time and get stuck, hung up when you're trying to get that thing open. Uh, when we do get it open, you see the only four picks that come in the kit right there. Uh, those things look freakish, don't they? Look at all those weird angles, and but believe me, there are reasons for every design element that you see there. We'll talk about them as I continue with the evaluation. You flip open these two pockets and all of the tension tools. There's plenty of room. You could probably compress all of these into one or two pockets and fill that up with the rest of your stuff. But sorry, James Bond, no room in here for a 9mm. Anyway, let me unpack it and let's take a close look at all the improvements Tag 5 Industries made to this new Scorpion 2. All right, guys, packed inside of that case is really not a lot of stuff. I guess if you're a covert entry operator, you don't want it cluttered up with unnecessary things. And so you see, you get a total of seven tensioners. Now, there are some options on this, and I'll describe it as we go along. But the basic kit contains these seven tensioners. You get these little Z wrenches. We've seen these before. I have personally have found these more useful for uh, dimple lock tensioning than pin tumblers, which really is what this kit is, des kit is designed for. But if you have a very uh, long and non-paracentric keyway, like, like we find here in North America, most of our locks, I, I guess 70% of our locks, are pretty wide open keyways like Schlage and, uh, and Quickset. So these would fit just fine. You get one standard L wrench. This is the medium thickness, and this one has been very highly finished. It's almost like a chrome finish on this guy. A little twist in it. And you get these little guys. Now, I really like these. These are uh, commonly found in European kits, uh, not too often here in the States, but these are really useful. If you have a pick, a lock that needs to be picked tensioning from the side, you can slide it in the bottom of the keyway and it'll stick out to the side so that you can tension it like that. However, if you can't get over to that side because of, say, a door frame or something, the other side is 90 degrees different. So you can slide it in from the bottom and tension it from the bottom. So the door frame would be over here and it really wouldn't get in the way. So these are Pretty neat. I expect to see more and more of these incorporated into kits. Uh, you get three of these, and I have to say this one here, I accidentally broke this one. It's totally 100% my fault. And that's because I went through a pretty steep learning curve trying to figure out how to use these picks. And I'll describe that in just a moment. Let me first take a look at these. I know, let's get that out of here. I know you guys don't care so much about tensioners. You care about the picks. It really is an odd shape, um, but let's get to some of the differences. These are made from 301 full hard stainless steel. This is a much higher quality than was in the prototypes that Lockpicking Lawyer took a look at. Also, these are 24 thousandths of an inch in thickness, where the prototypes were 20 thousandths. So Lockpicking Lawyer said, based on the type of picking, it's much more vigorous. It'd be nicer to have a tougher material. And so Tag 5 answered the mail on that one. Thirdly, if you look at the finish on these compared to the prototypes, it's a lot better. There are no sharp edges on any of these. So they sent, spent some time in the tumbler. They've gone through quality control checks, and these are much, much nicer. Now, they're still not hand-finished, but I think at this price point, you couldn't expect them to be hand-finished. What does appear hand-finished are these handles, all skeletonized. These are black anodized aluminum held in place with three, three removable screws. They're not loctited or anything. But compared to the prototypes, take a look at this. These are not sharp. These are all beveled. Every single edge on these is smooth, well fit. The pick does not protrude above the top of the handles anywhere. This is, these are very, very nice. I will tell you there are a couple of little things like right here, when these aluminum handles were machined out, they got tabs that held them in place. Some of them weren't completely removed before they were anodized, but unless you're really looking hard, you're really not going to be bothered by those at all. Um, you get a half diamond. 
So this is, I consider this to be a, for single pin picking, but he's also great for raking. You get a half, I'm sorry, a medium hook. Pretty nice. They give you, and this is again, the rake family. These are the only four you get, guys. You get this guy. Now, this is commonly associated, you know, the snowman with uh, wafer locks, and he works great for wafer locks. But if you don't have a Bogota, trust me, this is the next best thing. And then the last one is a snake rake, another from the rake family. Now, why do I say from the rake family? Let's, let's look at these. If I am doing a covert entry and I'm trying to get into a lock, I have to kneel down in front of the door, take my traditional pick, I have to tension it, and then hold it at this angle and very comfortably start picking. If I'm in the, you know, the very sedate, very quiet lock lab, I'm not worried about people seeing me, so I don't care what angle I'm at. Covert entry is a little different. You don't want to kneel in front of a door because right away, people can see your pick. They know exactly what you're doing. So how do you disguise that? Well, the covert entry guys at Tag 5 figured it out. You don't hold it like that. Instead, you grip it like this. You're completely hiding the pick. You stand up while you pick and you tension. And if somebody sees you standing in front of a door doing something like this, their automatic assumption is that you're having trouble with your key. And as long as you don't stand there too long, which hopefully you don't, um, they're not going to say anything. It looks completely normal, right? Well, there's your four picks. And you notice that's all you get. That's because these are not intended to go after. They're not after medicos. You're not going to be doing disc detainer locks. You're not going to be doing acid with sidebars and all that stuff. You're going to be basically raking and then using these two rudimentary picks to force a lock. Now, I mentioned earlier, most locks in the U.S., 70% of them are either Schlage or Quickset. So those have pretty wide open keyways, so these will fit perfectly. And you can either rake them or you can bully the pins using one of your two hook type tools. So very cool. All right, I mentioned an option. This sells what you see there, with this case, 67 bucks. If you don't like this tensioner set, one of the options they give you are these guys. Grab them. These used to be really difficult for us to find. Now they're everywhere. These are the same five top of the keyway tensioners. Some serrated, some not, some dog-eared, some not. It's the same set that we see sold many other places. If you want both of these, you can get this one added in for 15 bucks, or you can, of course, buy it separately at the uh, Tag5 website. So you get top of the keyway tensioners. Because this is so vigorous, I mentioned I broke this tensioner. That's because you have to stand up. It is quite different. You're basically forcing the lock in most cases. And when I'm standing up, which I'm not used to, it, it, it was very awkward for me. I was leaning against the door jamb. I was literally trying to rake and bully pins. And I lost track of where I was with the tensioner. And consequently, I snapped them off. So this is not a skill that you can learn in just a few minutes. This is a unique skill just for covert entry. It's going to take you... I tried it for several hours before I became minimally proficient. So it's a, it's a very unique skill that's going to require some practice. If you're going to be practicing, even with these really tough, full hard uh, 24,000 picks, you're probably going to bend them. If you have to buy a new pick like this with the handle, it's $9.50. Or you can buy replacement picks and these sell for only $4.50. Again, on the website, and I'm going to add it, throw these, these four guys in as well. On the tag industry site is this little guy, and I personally find him a little bit impractical. It's a pinning mat. Now remember, this is covert entry. I'm not going to be repinning. I'm not going to be popping out pins and repinning the lock. I'm just going to get in. But I think this is uh, an advertising gimmick that they're getting us to pay for, 15 bucks. And when you look at the practicality of this, it's not so practical. First of all, these little grooves are really deep. So when you drop a pin in there, unless you have some... Tag 5 Industries tactical tweezers to reach down in there to extract him. The only way to get him out is to dump him like that. And that is really not very practical. Another thing is when we get over here to pin number 5, notice the little claw is in the way. So there's no room there for all of your pins plus your spring. And this, this scorpion is an unremovable scorpion, unlike most scorpions, which are easily peeled off. But anyway, that's what you get. 15 bucks, you can get a not-so-tactical pinning tray. They also have these guys, and on their website, this is probably one of the bargains. This is an anodized flat black aluminum follower in half an inch. Probably the most common or the, 
uh, thickness or width that we use. This is the thickness I use more than any of the others. This sells for only $7.50. So of everything that I see on the website, this is an absolute bargain. And lastly, I mean, these are cool. I mean, silver, but, you know, I like to color coordinate. If I happen to wear some stylish underwear that day or a thong or perhaps a cool pair of socks, I want to match my picks to, my, to what I'm wearing. You can do that, guys. They've got these. Of course, I'm joking, but not about these. They do sell these on the website. So they come in a variety of different patterns. you got the digital camouflage. you got this. I mean, for, this is the, to remain safe while you're doing covert picking. Not, not the best color. Uh, if you're a Sparrows fan and you like that, you know, the skulls and all that stuff, you've got some handles with skulls. you got some blue ones to match my blue jeans. And lastly, these are not white. These are actually glow-in-the-dark handles. So pretty cool. If you drop your pick. You can easily find it. All of these, this is probably the most practical one. Very easy to do. They are adhesive. You peel, the, peel it off the back. You stick it on there, and then you put your handles back on there. Pretty easy to do. It's just removal of three screws. Anyway, guys, this will be the giveaway this week. Not only the, the Scorpion 2, but all the other stuff that you see in front of you there. If you'd like to win, all you got to do, go to that website. In the middle of the page is a big purple band that says Weekend Giveaway. Click it. Register. With a little bit of luck, my webmaster will randomly draw your name for this big pile of Tag 5 Industries gear. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. As always, hit that subscription and notification bell so when I do other reviews like this, you'll be one of the first to know. Hit that like button because it lets me know how I'm doing. Appreciate your time, guys. If you like the idea of growing the Lock Sport community, please consider supporting the Lock Lab by either becoming a Patreon or clicking the join button below.